good evening everyone thank you very much for having me here and uh, yeah it's, it's irony that you know person from oil and gas is chairing the session uh, i'm going to talk to you some more uh, insights and as a professor normally professor you know good at asking questions i'm going to pose some questions unfortunately there are not many audiences there are more lights which are on than the audience who is sitting there nevertheless i'm going to talk to about the trans energy transformation that uh, that has to happen that is happening to some extent but uh, it is way too far away from what is actually required and uh, throughout the day many people you know touched upon the climate change that it is happening and it is not only happening it is accelerating it's accelerating very fast i have been a professor at iit bombay for 17 18 years and i am on unpaid leave now i am traveling i live in a bus some of you have already come and seen my bus which is uh, standing outside so why is the professor gone crazy you know that he has left home for 11 years and living in a bus and going around the country or there can be a serious serious reason about it so the climate is change and it is changing very fast but i believe that the technology and science is not the solution to the problem that we are having right now why and let us understand how do we take care of it the the problem the number one who has caused this problem and many people feel that it is industry it is the government i say no every user of energy has caused the problem and each one of us whether rich or poor whether from developed countries or developing countries has actually contributed to the problem and therefore it is also proven that last 30 40 50 years science is growing technology is growing economies are growing not only that science and technology is growing by leaps and bounds there are also legally binding agreement all over the world there are you know starting from 1998 there is a kyoto protocol and then paris agreement in 2015 where 181 countries signed together that we are going to reduce our carbon emission by 50% by 2030 the real fact is that the carbon emissions increasing every year 1.7% so it seems that whatever science and technology that we are growing is not working out whatever government legally binding agreements that we are doing is not working out climate change is worsening every year and look what is happening right now that i think couple of months are floods in australia then there are like forest fires in europe rivers in the europe are drying up you know there are floods in in saudi arabia the desert countries forest fires everywhere so things are really getting out of our hand and what i believe is that the science and technology is not the solution to the problem that we are facing so what is the solution then and there is the one there are two fundamental solution that we have to follow there are fundamental laws to live on this nature there are fundamental laws to live on the planet and if you are not going to follow those fundamental laws it is impossible that with the science and technology we can solve the problem you can actually go to the moon you can actually go to the mars you can create a 5g network 6g net 10g network but you will not be able to solve the problem what are the fundamental laws number 1 in an ecosystem of finite resources there has to be finite consumption you know our father of the nation mahatma gandhi said there is only enough in the world for everyone's need not for anyone's greed he said some 100 years ago where there was no climate change there was no pollution there is everything was fine still he said this why because it is law of nature that there has to be limit to anything and everything that we do unfortunate part of this world is that we all feel that we should continuously grow we should produce more consume more we should you know get into problem the pros one problem and then you know produce more electric vehicles and all that will problem solve no everything in this world is finite and fixed and therefore first thing modern human have to learn is that you have to limit our consumption second law to exist on the planet is in an ecosystem of finite resources there has to be distributed production again i quote mahatma gandhi said not the mass production production by masses is required because the current model has been creating more inequity in the world and more we centralize more we go with the kind of model that we are doing 
more violence increases in the world, more degradation of the nature happens. So this model is not going to help us in any which way. We need to have distributed production and what could be the more beautiful way of using energy than a distributed manner. People are living all over the planet, energy needs are there all over the planet. Solar energy, renewable energy is available all over the planet and therefore we should be distributing our production. So limiting consumption and localizing production are the fundamentals of living on this planet. I don't know how many of you are aware that not only that climate is changing, it is accelerating. Look at last seven, eight years what is happening. Last summer one of the most common statement that went around is this summer was the coldest summer you will have in your life. The coldest summer. And 1.5 degree centigrade, the whole United Nations crying and shouting, look guys, you have to limit global warming to 1.5 degree centigrade, 1.5 degree centigrade. Everybody is like parrot also, you know, keep talking, we have to limit our global warming to 1.5 degree centigrade, but not understanding what needs to be done for 1.5 degree centigrade. You know, how much time is left? I don't know, audience is there. It takes, as of today, six years and some 333 days left before we touch one and a half degree centigrade, by which the change in the climate will starts to become irreversible. And by two degrees centigrade, which is another 20 years, the entire climate change will become irreversible. After that, even the whole humanity become sent. Sadhu sant ban jayenge, aur ek langod pan ke ghumenge, fir bhi you will not be able to reverse the climate change. And we are running out of time. And we are behaving as if you know, there's already hundreds of years left before us. Politicians, policy makers, educationalists are not even understanding what is the problem. And therefore, I believe that the problem, the solution does not lie in developing more of science, more of technology. There's already enough to go to the moon and go to the Mars. That's already enough. It is about understanding these basic limits for living on the planet that we have to learn how to limit our consumption. You have to learn how to localize our production. Until unless we do this, I guarantee that human life will not survive on this planet. We cannot survive on this planet. And we, as we keep saying, you know, that once upon a time there were dinosaurs on the planet and they are not there anymore. They got disappeared. If you are not going to be here properly, in some three, four thousand, five thousand years later, a new species will appear on the planet and they will say, once upon a time, there were humans on the planet, you know. I hope that time will not come. I hope we'll go beyond science and technology. I hope we understand our basic nature and limits to the planet, the size of the planet, its resources are fixed and finite, and therefore we cannot continuously produce more and consume more. We have to limit our production as well as the consumption. That is the bottom line, and if you're not going to do this, no science, no technology will ever help human life to become sustainable on this planet. Thank you very much for having me here.